Good morning, children. Uh, today, I wanted to talk to you about something that may seem at first as if, well, what does that have to do with Easter? But I hope that when we're done, you'll see how it's very much connected to Easter, and that is to talk a little bit about the alphabet. Now, what is the first and the last letter of the alphabet? I'm sure you all know, right? So what would the first one be? A, right? And what would the last one be? Z, right? Well, as we go to light the Paschal candle, I want to show you another alphabet, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about that. So in just a moment, we will go there. God bless you, children. Okay, children, so now we are at the Paschal candle, what I call the Jesus candle, the resurrection candle. It's our Easter candle. And we're going to pick up where we left off uh, when we were talking about the alphabet. So look at the candle carefully. And I think you will see that there is something that looks like the alphabet, at least one letter of the alphabet that we're aware of, right? Above and below the cross, we see here, and this one that's easy for us to recognize, we see an A, and in Greek, what that is is what a letter called alpha. That's what their A is, alpha. And below is a symbol, a letter that, that does not seem as familiar to us, right? But that is called the omega. And the alpha is the first letter of the Greek alphabet, like our A, and the omega is the last letter of the Greek alphabet, like our Z, right? And so what's interesting is in the Bible, uh, Jesus is called the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. That's also said about the Father. And what does that mean? Well, it, what it means is that it they contain everything that is, that all of the future, all of the past, everything to come, everything that has been, is in their hands. Jesus and his, and his Father, okay? And so we like to put it on the, on the Jesus candle because the resurrection itself is one of the ways that we see that most clearly, that God is going to triumph over absolutely everything even the cross. So we are Alpha and Omega people. We live in that wonderful promise that God holds all things, past, present, future, everything, and that we're included as a part of that in God's love and in God's great plan for us. Well, God bless you, children, and I pray that you have a wonderful third Sunday of Easter. Peace of Christ be with you. The help.